What's up guys, it's Meg, and it's time for another beta video. For those of you who don't know, I'm making a video every day in the month of April having to do with either The Walking Dead, The Apocalypse, Zombies, some cooking in there, survival. Uh, today, we're doing a Q&A with my mom. Hey. This is Cherie. Um, this is the person who watches The Walking Dead with me in the background every Sunday. So you may hear her comments or lack of comments or something. <laughs> um, she also recently, which is why we're doing this, watched The Walking Dead Season 5 Episode 14, um, the live reaction where we were at the beach and Noah died. And so some of you guys saw her in that video and you liked her and you want to see her again. So I thought, hey, why not? We're going to do a Q&A. And yeah, okay. So just FYI, she does watch this show every Sunday. She's not super obsessed like I am. So I mean, give her a break, okay? She's not as obsessed as you guys are. I love it though. She loves it. I do. Yeah. But she's not like, like live and breathe Walking Dead. I do. No. Um, so let's get right into it. This might be a two-parter, I'm not sure. Depending on how long it takes us, I don't want the video to be too long. So the first question is from Steven Klein. He says, what would her weapon of choice be in the zombie apocalypse? Oh. Um. Some kind of gun, gun, I think. Yeah, yeah. So that's the easiest. Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like. Do and I get to answer these a questions knife. too? Yeah, and like really, Carol's knife. Yeah, yeah. Like Something. a roll of knives. <laughs> <laughs> like a <laughs> shoosh. You know, Pick like one. when you open up your jacket and yeah. it's all strapped yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, or like a Highlander. With like, you yes. could have like Michonne's sword, but have you guys. I love did you guys Highlander. ever watch Highlander? My favorite. Highlander. Show. Here we are. Born to be kings, <laughs> we're, we're the princes, princes of the universe. Okay, sorry. Okay, I'm sure sorry. some of. You, please tell me somebody's seen Highlander. Anyways, I feel like that would be pretty cool if I could just wear a trench coat all the time and just whip it out. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like I'm turning red already. Okay, <laughs> that's her weapon of choice. I wish. Okay, so I play the Walking Dead game on the TV. I'm really good at a bow with the bow. I'm not so good. I feel like I wouldn't be good with it in real life. But I practice all the time, so I feel like it must count for something. I don't know. Okay, this one comes from Boston uh, Beauties. Boston Beauties. Question for your mom. Did it take her long to warm up to the Walking Dead zombie apocalypse concept and content? For example, the gore, killing, struggle to survive? Or was it something she found interesting and entertaining already? Oh, definitely interesting and entertaining already. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've always been into kind of zombie movies, scary. sort of, like scary stuff, Sci -fi. and survival stuff. Survival, yeah. Yeah, definitely. so I think definitely it's pretty cool stuff. to watch stuff that like actually makes you feel like this could really happen. Yeah. This question comes from, <laughs> I don't know if I can say your name, Tuyet Mufayet? Mufayet? Sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, if you were in the apocalypse, what would your role be in the group? Let's say if you were in Rick's group. Oh, what would my role be? Yeah, like like all the different characters that are in Rick's group. What do you feel like? Would you be the leader? What would you do? Um, boy, I don't know. No, I don't think I. Well, I don't know. My, I might want to try to <laughs> take charge. <laughs> um, but I. I could follow. I could, could you follow get, Rick. Could you get the job follow. done? Could you get the walkers killed out of the way? I think, yeah, with time, with a little practice, yeah, I could I could kick some butt. <laughs> I could. She's tough. I think you could. I, I could. I yeah. feel like in the moment when you're like, I'm gonna die, you I feel like she would Oh yeah. Because I don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> She'd be like, uh uh, hell no. <laughs> no, no. Not me. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, uh, and then he also asked, he or she also asked, what would your go-to weapon of choice be? So I think we have oh, right yeah, that. Yeah. Probably well, some kind of Anything gun. sharp. I feel like, or, or how come gun? nobody has Definitely, like the machine but... guns where they're like, mm. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that was a bad impression. That was, that was on, the, on the game. Yeah. I'm because I feel like that. you could just aim for their heads and just go, just, yeah. and take them all out. Yeah. I've, it's loud though. That's true. It would draw. More and then you'd just be standing there. 
I like Michonne's um, sword though because you don't have to get that close. Yeah. So you can kind of be. My only thing is, how does she like whip Love it out so fast? Oh, I feel like she's gonna slice somebody in the process of moving. She's them. just had a lot of practice yeah. with it. Wow. Oh, okay, Gunner Hicks. Uh, it's a longtime follower of my channel. He has five questions for what? you. What? Five Gunner. questions. All right. Okay. Oops. Hang on. I lost it. Okay. Oh, he says, choose any you'd like to ask. We can answer them all. Why not? Uh, what's your favorite Walking Dead character? Um, Daryl Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> Rick is a close second. Okay. Mine's Daryl, too, of course. And then Carol. Yeah, Carol. Rick could come in third, I think. Uh, what was the saddest death? Oh. Um, hmm. Uh, probably. <laughs> Probably Noah, um, only because, um, I mean, they're all sad. Beth's sad, um, um, Dale. Dale. Um, Herschel. 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 <laughs> Herschel is like the worst. It was sad. But I think Noah, because he, um, because he said, don't let go. And that was, mm -hmm. and he's so young, and he, didn't die. he like, wanted to so live. Sad. He was ready to live, and, and he was ready to take charge yeah. in Alexandria. Mm -hmm. Like he wanted to help, yeah. be a part of it, and like learn so that the future of Alexandria would be safe. You yeah. know, learn how to fix the wall. So it was really sad when he was taking that and initiative, and then to just, just be eaten alive. Eaten it's the worst. Alive. I've always said that I, would I never want my characters to get eaten alive to be eaten by walkers i feel like it's the worst way to go even yeah. if you just get bitten like it's, it's just, just it's awful slow. yeah to be torn apart and you're just slowly eating it's and you're suffering yeah. yeah it was kind of like when dale with the yeah uh, his stomach except daryl put him out of his misery yes. which was yes. awesome